Uh, we've got this function that we want to sketch. First of all, we have these absolute values. And anytime we want to graph something with absolute values, we're going to use our definition of the absolute value function, which is that the absolute value of x is a piecewise function. And the two cases are for negative values of x and non-negative values of x. Now, if x is not negative, the absolute values don't really do anything. It just leaves it the way it is. However, if x is negative, then we want to make it positive. And one way to make a negative number positive is to put another negative in front of it. So we have an absolute value here of x plus 1. So we're going to use our definition, absolute value of x plus 1. Well, that is a piecewise function. It's negative x plus 1 if x plus 1 is less than 0. And it's just x plus 1 if x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Now I can rewrite this if I'd like. So I'll go ahead and write this as a negative x minus 1, just distribute that negative. This is if, and I'm going to move the, the 1 over. So subtract 1 from both sides, I get x less than negative 1. And it's x plus 1 if, and then again, subtract the 1 over if x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Okay. So that's, that's the absolute value of x plus 1. Okay. Now y is equal to that thing minus x plus 2. So now what we can do is use our definition and say, well, our y is, it's going to be absolute, it's going to be a, a piecewise function. Let's, let's do that. Well, it's, it's negative x minus 1 and then minus x plus 2 if x is less than negative 1. And then it's x plus 1 minus x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And now we can simplify those. So here we've got a negative x minus x, which is negative 2x, and then minus 1 plus 2, which is plus 1. And that's if x is less than negative 1. And then here we've got x minus x. Those cancel each other out. And then we just have 1 plus 2 which is 3. And that's if x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So now we've written our function without absolute values. Okay, And these two portions, those are pretty easy things to graph. Okay, they're, One of them is an equation of a line, and then the other one is just, that's just a constant function. So now let's go ahead and uh, sketch what we've got. So we'll do our axes. Well, so we're going to mark our changing point. Our changing point is when x is negative 1. And when x is negative equal to negative 1, y is 3. So we'll come up to 3. Right there. And for every value of x greater than or equal to negative 1, we've got y equals 3. So we've just got a constant function here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and use a different color here so we can see this. So it's just a constant function that goes out. Okay, so that was y equals 3. Okay, then we've got this y equals negative 2x plus 1. Well, that's the equation of a line, and it has a um, y-intercept of positive 1. So I'm just going to kind of sketch what we've got and then um, look at our, our domain for that. So... We've got our positive 1, and then we've got a slope of negative 2. So down 2 over 1. Okay. Or to the left 1 and up 2. To the left 1 and up 2. So we've got a, a line. Okay. The sketch, there's that line. However, Notice that this is only true if x is less than negative 1. 
So everything to the right, we don't have any of that. So we can get rid of that. So there's a sketch of our function. We've got our line to the left of negative 1, and then the constant function uh, to the right of negative 1. 